Excellencies, Distinguished Delegates, as president of ECOSOC, I'm pleased to share this message with you for the 11th edition of the Asia Pacific Forum on Sustainable Development. In the SDG Summit Political Declaration, world leaders reaffirmed the 2030 Agenda as the roadmap for achieving sustainable development and overcoming multiple crises. They also pledged to act with urgency to realize its vision. ECOSOC and its subsidiary bodies, including ESCAP and the other regional commissions, are fundamental to achieving the SDGs. During the coming six months, through its segments, forums and events, and the high-level political forum, ECOSOC will translate the commitments of the SDG Summit into policy guidance and concrete action. This is being carried out under the theme of reinforcing the 2030 Agenda and eradicating poverty in times of multiple crises, the effective delivery of sustainable, resilient and innovative solutions. I am pleased that the Asia-Pacific Forum will also address this important th theme. The SDGs to be reviewed at the HLPF this year could not be more critical, eradicating poverty, ending hunger, taking action to combat climate change, promoting peace, justice, and strong institutions, and strengthening partnerships for the goals. With 41 countries conducting voluntary national reviews, we will learn how the SDGs are being implemented at the national level. I'm delighted the Asia Pacific region will be well represented among the VNR's countries, with 10 countries conducting reviews most for the second and some for the third time. This demonstrates that the 2030 Agenda and the SDGs are embedded in national strategies and programs in the Asia and Pacific region. Excellencies, we understand the distinctive challenge facing the Asia Pacific region. The data tell us that at the current pace of implementation, the region will miss 90% of the 118 measurable SDG targets by 2030, and it will take several more decades to achieve the goals. 20% of SDG targets in the region are regressing. Over half of the sub-targets related to disaster impacts in various sectors demonstrate an even or regressing trends, particularly in critical infrastructure and basic service like education and healthcare. And countries in the region are significantly off track to achieve their greenhouse gas emissions reduction targets. Despite these trends, we know that there is energy and potential for the countries of the Asia Pacific region to build on their proven innovation to scale up action. The region has lessons to share across all the SDGs, including on disaster risk reduction policies, the uptake of digital technologies, and trade and regional economic cooperation. Countries have begun to take transformative actions to identify opportunities to promote sustainable agricultural practices and strengthen food systems, find new productive employment and quality jobs, and promote social protection systems. I'm confident that the outcomes of this Asia-Pacific Forum will speak to the ambition of the region to achieve sustainable development. As we look ahead to the summit of the future, the VNRs are an opportunity to reflect on what has been accomplished, but also what more needs to be done to achieve sustainable development. The regional realities of how to get there are incredibly important to ensure our collective actions are grounded in the needs of our people and our planet. I wish you every success in your discussions. You can count on my full support as we strive to achieve a just, inclusive, and sustainable future. Thank you.